So you got an Android device, do ya? Do ya? That's awesome. Android devices are great. They are super versatile and you can do all sorts of stuff on them, including playing your old favorite retro games, but they are freaking work to set up if you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, you know what you're doing, right? No, you don't know how to set up an Android based doodad for retro emulation in the best way. And you want me to tell you how I do it on all my Android devices so you can just freaking copy me. Well, you know what I have to say to that? All right, fine then, I will. This is the two minute version of my extended guide, kind of a bird's eye view. Watch this video to get an overview of what you can do. And you can go watch my long video if you want detailed instructions for any of this stuff. There's a link to that below. I have a fresh Android doodad right here with no nothing on it. So we're going to get it completely set up and running in the best way. Think I can do it in just two minutes? Well, let's find out. The timer starts now. Step one is to install your emulators. From the Play Store or using the links below, you can install RetroArch for the older stuff, Dolphin for GameCube, Drastic for Nintendo DS, Lime 3DS for 3DS, and PPSSPP for PSP. And you'll have to search online for Aether SX2 or Nether SX2 for PS2, and you can find Sudachi for Switch, or whatever other Switch emulator that Nintendo hasn't murdered uh, at the time that you're watching this video. Install each of those from the APK that you downloaded. Now we need to install our front end, which is ESDE. This is not a free app. You need to buy it. It's five bucks. When you launch it for the first time, you'll be taken through a setup procedure. You can stick with the default directories for the ESDE folder and the ROMs folder, or if you want to use an SD card, you can create your own ESDE and ROMs folder on the card right there as you set it up. This is what I do because then I can use the same SD card on different devices. Let's do the RetroArch stuff at this point. Uh, RetroArch does a quick little setup thing the first time you launch it, and it should automatically detect your controls. I like to go through and change a bunch of stuff that I can't explain here, but I'll toss a list on the screen and you can pause the video if you want to do it like I do. And then you can download the emulation cores that you need from the main menu down to Core Downloader, and you can download any cores you need. If you don't want to think too hard, you can just download it freaking everything in this list. Now you need to add your ROMs and BIOS files. In the ROMs folder, there are a bunch of folders for each system and you can put your ROM files in there. And you'll need to copy over any BIOS files that RetroArch needs for systems like Sega Saturn and Dreamcast. They need to go in this directory on your device. Now you need to launch each of your emulators and go through their initial setup. Open each one and make sure your controls are detected or set them up yourself however you want. I'm not going to have time to show you each of these here, but you're a big grown up. I bet you can figure these out or watch my guide if you can. So with that done, go ahead and launch ESDE and that's it. You're done. Yay. Yay. Holy crap. Did we just do all that in two minutes? Wow, that's amazing. I've really outdone myself. Yeah, look, now when you launch ESDE, you can browse your games and launch your games and everything works great. You may run into some quirks with which emulator is being used or if you have uh, configuring that you need to do on some emulators, but the vast majority of stuff should work fine out of the box. And you should watch my full guide if you get stuck. And now that you're set up, you can do things like scrape your box art and download new themes and set up each emulator to have the best settings for each system. But that's beyond the scope of this video, obviously. So I'll just say good job sticking to the end. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you watch the full video if you have questions. Click like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. That's it from me. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.